I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. After a big win last night, the Grand Junction Jackalopes we're back in action again today in the all important rubber match at Saplesio Field. Could the Lopes make it two in a row against the Rocky Mountain Vibes? Let's see how it all went down. A hot summer day at Saplesio Field. If you were at the game today, I hope you wore plenty of sun sunscreen. I wish I did. We start in the third and the score already four to three Vibes. Not for long. Austin Elder smacks this to right. Ron Washington trying to chase, but it goes over the wall for a grand slam. A huge homer gets the vibes up eight to three. Bottom of the third, Ron Washington trying to cut into the lead and he gets this ball way back where it bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. Double dance time for Washington. Nice work there. Same inning, Anthony Ray sends this ball far, sends this ball high, and sends this ball gone. He almost hit his own face there on the scoreboard. Two run rocket, in comes Washington, and now in comes Anthony Ray. Lopes still trail eight to five. In the fifth, Vibes looking to add to the lead and they waste little time. A sack fly does the job here, making it nine to five. Same inning, same score. Nick Michaels gets it past Jalen Hubbard and Jacob Barfield gets to home safe. It's 10-5 Vibes. Still in the fifth, after the Vibes tack on it, three more, they're still not done. Austin Elder, his second dinger of the day. This one's a two-run shot. Vibes break it open and lead 15-5. to five. In the sixth now, Vibes up 16-5, to five, and Jacob Barfield says bye-bye. Vibes' fourth dinger of the day, and they go up 19-5. to five. My goodness. To the ninth, do the Lopes have a historic comeback in them? Well, that's a start. Coco Figueredo singles to right, and in comes Colin Gordon. It's 19 to seven. Lots of work to do, and Hubbard tries to do some of it here. Single through center, bringing in Figueredo. It's 19 to eight now. Can the Lopes keep it going? No, they cannot. Cody Schultz makes the grab to put an end to this one. And there is your final from Saplesio. No historic comeback from Grand Junction on a day that simply wasn't theirs. 19 to 8 is the final. Lopes fall to 14 and 16 on the year and they'll get to rest up tomorrow before they make a trip to Windsor. Three game road series with the Northern Colorado Owls begins on Tuesday. Staying in baseball, it's no Juco, but it's still fun at Omaha at the College World Series. It's the final series between LSU and Florida. Win or go home for the Gators, and they were not ready to go home tonight. A record-breaking day for my alma mater. Florida scored a historic 24 runs in the win, the most runs scored in any College World Series game ever. No team had scored more than seven runs in any World Series game this year. What a performance by the Gators as they even up the series and force the big one on Monday. Game three from Omaha is at 5 p.m. tomorrow night. Winner is a national champion. Of course, JUCO's winner Central Florida plays ball in Ocala just 45 minutes south of the University of Florida in Gainesville. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson. More news is on the way.